how's the Matco life? It's doing good. Kicking strong. Oh yeah. Huh? Can't fuss about that. No, no, you really can't. Well, it's almost another week over. So, I'm glad Sema's over. That's been a adventure. Yeah, yeah. It's always good and expensive out there. It's. I've heard it's pretty fun. Uh, get to see a bunch of new stuff. Yeah. You can sell a lot of new stuff, but everything in Vegas is so freaking expensive, man. Yeah, I know when we went, I mean, for one person to eat, you're not eating below 30 something dollars a piece. I yeah. mean, it's, I, I guess if you hunted down, you know, and walked forever or over, mm -hmm. uh, you might, but where we went, we were put right in the middle of expensive, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, at the SEMA show, you know, they got like the little things on the side that sell food you know yeah and it's so expensive i think like a hand just a plain hammer was 18 dollars. bottle of water is like eight dollars it's ridiculous sounds know. like the airport when we flew into vegas we found uh a burger king or something and we were thinking burger king good yeah and good and cheap yeah. no <laughs> uh which now granted uh it is an airport so it's going to be expensive yeah but it's also in vegas so it's like double expensive <laughs> That's uh, true. <laughs> so we were like, well, okay then. You know, it opened our eyes up early and then it just never, the price didn't do nothing but go up because mm -hmm. uh, our first year there, I mean, we weren't going to just walk around all of it, you know, Vegas and try yeah. to find cheap food. We're staying close to the hotel. So it is what it is. We had fun though. That's all that matters. <laughs> it's crazy when you get off the airport in Vegas, like you can't walk 10 foot from the gate. You know, when you walk off and there's slot machines. That's, yep. That's crazy. Yeah, that was that was pretty cool, too. So, uh, we didn't play them at the airport. But, yeah, I mean, it's there's a bunch of people there playing for sure. Yeah. So Definitely a different life out there, buddy. It is. It, is. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't Mississippi no you more. You either love it or hate it. So, <laughs> if you live there, I guess you love it. If you don't live there, I guess you don't. Either that's way. It. Well, what cool and new stuff y'all got today? So we teased it before you left. We mm -hmm. said something was coming. Um, most of the people guessed it. We do have a new scanner coming out in December. Um, some of you may have already seen it. I've seen dealers have started posting it. Um, so that means I can talk about it, right? That's right. So we talked, we, you know, we, we said there was going to be new stuff. We do have a nice little picture of it there. It is the Maximus 5.0. Uh, I did see where people said we were teaming with Altel. No, we're definitely not teaming with Altel. Okay. Um, launch is still uh, going to assemble this for us. I say assemble because they have, the guy that I talked to guaranteed me that Launch would not have this product. Um, it's you know whereas the max 4.0 they have a scanner that looks real close to it the mm -hmm. software is just different uh in the max 4.0 the software was ours but the body was not this one the patents cover the body and the software now you're like okay well good you got another scanner what's the what's the big deal right this one here um one of the cool features about it the actual VCI, dongle, whatever you want to call it, has a J-Box built into it. That's nice. So, um, that's huge, right? Mm -hmm. One of the things that I will preface that with is this scanner here, it's running on a newer um, operating software, um, just like phones or anything else, it's constantly changing. Our idea with this scanner, uh, from what they told me, is to be able to do more in the future as well. So the VCI from in the J-Box will work immediately with a laptop or anything like that. But the way that we want to do it is we want to get it to where you don't need that laptop right. or scanner to do it. Now, mm -hmm. straight out of January or December, uh, it's not going to work with a scanner. It will The J-Box is functional. It'll work with a laptop. But you're buying that with the scanner and everything. Plus, the scanner is going to come with more memory. Uh, it's going to come with a new screen. Um, they, the screen is going to be a lot more durable. 
from what I understand, no other scanner out there has that type of screen on it. Uh, it's going to be... What is it, like a Gorilla Glass yes. or something? Yeah. yeah, that'll be good. So it's going to be that like that Gorilla Glass. Uh, you know, that's the biggest thing now. Uh, I have a guy that dropped his scanner that he's needing to send it off. Um, so if we can get those screens a little bit more mm -hmm. durable, that's even better. But also... Hopefully it's fast. Yeah, well, like now fire. they do say that it's going to be fast. Um, which, as far as... Our three and four, they sped up tremendously. The True. flex, everything. They say this one is definitely going to be fast. Um, but we're also um, changing up the way that the memory stored and stuff like that. So that's going to help uh, speed it up as well. And then uh, as far as our heavy-duty side, you remember when we talked about the four mm -hmm. i said hey look we're trying to build our database so that we can get like the max fix for right. it this one's going to have cool. your database for your hd so not not uh a huge deal if you're not an hd guy right mm -hmm. you're not going to buy the one with the hd but let's say that you're a heavy duty person and you're like look i don't need all that i just want the heavy duty they're actually um, we may be leaking something here. I don't know that they've come out and told everybody, but they're actually going to have an HD solely. Um, it will be it, good. Yeah, it'll never yeah. be able to. You, you can't buy that one. If you buy the sole HD scanner, um, you're not going to be able to go back and put Carline on it. Yeah. So with the 4.0, you could, but it was stupid expensive, right? This HD by itself is going to be a lot more affordable because they're making it to where you can't go back. So it doesn't have to have the capability mm -hmm. to do all of that, right? So as far as You would think go, a scanner manufacturer, though, like if a guy worked at an HD shop and maybe something happened and he went back to the car world, yeah, they well, could I, now they're gonna have, fix it to it's where... It's going to be two different scanners. Okay. So if you do this one here, uh, the Max 5, it will you can add it later okay but there is one scan tool that if you buy it's, it's just hd it, it's only. just hd and that's going to be a big freight uh, a big facer on it to where it's going to be our job to say hey if there's right. ever the possibility of you going back this mm -hmm. is the one you want um i've got guys on my route that's like never ever mm -hmm. uh it seems like <laughs> your automotive guys never want to work on your big stuff your big stuff guys never want to go down Pay is usually involved for the bigger guys. They don't yeah. want to step back down into that. But uh, these are going to have uh, the four channel uh, scope Scopes. on it. That's good. But it's also coming with a new um, uh, battery tester as well. You know, in our four, it comes mm -hmm. with the uh, battery tester. This one's going to have a new one coming out with it. Uh, it is. It, it's it's a new slick design on it. So um, some of the meetings uh last week some of the distributors got to see it at their meeting our meeting didn't have it um but this flyer is actually stated to go out on the 11th which is tomorrow so watch the video tomorrow and we're right on time there you go if you watch it tonight i can't help you you but, jumped ahead <laughs> uh, you can definitely ask your distributor about it because it's going to be there uh and this is something you know if I was just in a sales scanner, I wouldn't want to sell you one without letting you know that another right. one's coming. Sure. Um, there's there's ways to sell it, but um, now you know. So cool. Hard to beat that. Well, I just gotta ask. I see the flashlight here. What has done happened here? Well, so I can get it real. Some the heart curve. feelings, I guess. It looks like a banana. So there you go. So I usually try to warranty anything that I can, right? I've said that from the beginning. I'll try to warranty anything. But here's the thing. The guy brings it on and says that somebody stole it. It got ran over. And then somehow he got it back. Well, probably because they didn't want it no more. It's broke. Right. <laughs> hey, uh, did you buy a new one yet where I can steal that one? Yeah. <laughs> that's probably what that was about. So if it was just the marking, because that's what we've been talking about on the, on the route. If it was just the scratches on the outside, I'm going to send it in and I'm going to try to warranty it just like normal if it is affected, which as you can tell, it still comes on. The markings do not hurt 
uh, the function of the tool. It right. doesn't stop it from charging. It, it, it doesn't hurt the LED. Lights are gonna get scratched. Mm -hmm. Not worried about that. The bow in it, which I don't know how much justice the camera did, um, but it does it's have a yeah. yeah. It does have a big bow in it. The bow affects the battery because mm -hmm. now the battery is bowed as well. Um, and that's why I told him. I said, "Look, the the battery has been affected by the running over, <laughs> the, the running <laughs> over. If that so the." The supervisor actually come out and said, no, it, it, it didn't, none of that happened. It got dropped through a machine, um, which he showed us the marks. And from the way that he explained it, out of the two stories of somebody stealing it, running it over, and then you getting it back, or you dropping it through a machine and it spitting out on the other side, one's more likely than the other yeah. because normally you don't get something that's some, you know stolen back. Um, but either way, uh, I tried to explain to him that the bow is what takes it out of warranty. Yeah. That's not a manufacturer defect. Uh, it's not a flaw of design in any way. And the flashlight's not made to be stolen and run over or made to be run through put a through machine. a machine. So <laughs> you can argue that a screwdriver ain't made for prime, but guess what? Yeah. It looks like a pry bar. Mm -hmm. This no way looks like something that's been stolen. Well, I'd over. say it's pretty tough to survive and get that and bow still and works. still work. Yeah, so uh -huh. he got kind of he he kind of got ill, and uh, that's fine. Uh, that's why it's up here, and that's why we're showing everybody because he wanted to make an ass out of himself. Sorry for saying that, but yeah, um, it happens. You know, he wanted to act like he was the the head of the roof. So you get all the attention you want. This ain't covered. Um, simply because of the bow. I mean, when I send that in the streamlight, they're not going to cover <laughs> yeah, it. They're like, what happened um, to this thing? They cover a lot of stuff uh, that they probably shouldn't. But <laughs> this here, covering this is only going to drive prices up for oh, everybody yeah. else. Because let's say Streamlight does call me and say, hey, and I say, well, if it was a really good customer, I'd probably just hand him another lot and I would eat it. But let's say I didn't. Let's say I sent this in. If they cover this, somebody at corporate's gonna be like, "Well, if we're covering all this, yeah, we're gonna have to go. We're up. gonna have to go up on price. Sure. So it ain't fair to everybody else. Plus, if he'd have just come out and said, "Hey, we I dropped it through a machine. Is there anything we can do?" Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, insurance and warranty is two different, and that's on anything, yeah. right? If you lose this flashlight, it's not covered. Mm -hmm. If somebody steals your car, you don't call the manufacturer and go, "Hey." Yeah. My car got stolen. It's your fault. What are you going to do about it? Where's my new car? Right? Unless it's the Hyundais or the Kias with the <laughs> USB thing. That's kind of their fault right well, there. Well, I wasn't going to say that. In my head, I was thinking it, but I wasn't going to say that. That's kind of their fault right yeah. there. I'll let you go out on that limb. But if your Toyota Tundra gets stolen, it's not because the manufacturer exactly right. made it yeah. to where it could. So, And that, and that goes, like I said, that goes on everything. You know, uh, Milwaukee, uh, they've had their issues with their batteries they break that needs to be covered mm -hmm. that is i mean you've changed something to try to address that right sure so that yes um and i even argue on these uh m12s you know how they'll uh the ears let the go. ears will get loose yep. the battery will drop yes it dropped i get that but it dropped because your your, your design was bad yeah um uh, whether it be the clip, what whatever it be, um, it kind of failed us there. So that's it. Nothing made you drop this into the machine uh, or made it to where it could get stolen. However it happened, I don't care. Um, Maybe you should sell him some of these NFL gloves with these super grippies on it. Well, that way he can hold on to it when he's in front of the machine. If I had to guess, he probably had it in his mouth or something and then it dropped. But either way, um, it is what it is. Oh well, it, it works. I've had customers try to buy it just for the fact that it's bent. I'm um, still working, <laughs> but the, the problem with that is, I'm afraid with the charging, yeah, uh, that battery could blow up. Yeah, so I don't want nobody getting hurt. But that is what it is. Um, it's crazy. I want I want to throw out one other thing. We've talked about the grip edge. We've talked about how good they are and everything else, right? Yep. 
And then we did a video where we said everybody tries to copy somebody something. We talked about the drill bits. Y'all remember back. Go back and watch that video. Do whatever you got to do. Well, it has got to Maco that they're a good product, right? Mm -hmm. And I heard they come out with their own. That's what we're bringing up. Yeah. If your dealer has not had the grip edge stuff, Maco has got on board, and we have the grip edge they technology now. They call it Opti Torque. It I is the right. Opti Torque. But it's the same life. same tool, right? But, um, well, we're, we don't hide the fact, and somebody's going to say, oh, it's just another rebrand. We do not hide that. We have never from day one hid that fact. So we have the grip edge stuff. You will have red for standard, blue for metric, and the price point is there. So if your dealer does not have this stuff, mm -hmm. he can have it now. Ask him. Yep. He can get it. It, like Clay said, it is the Opti Torque. It's I mean, it looks good. It's the same know. design. It looks good. And the, I like the, how I've even got a picture. I'll put a picture in there. Now yeah, and, and the key thing there is uh, uh, when we talked about the Milwaukee um, pass-through ratchets, I made the comment that uh, it ain't my place to tell the customer what sure. to buy is my place to sell them what they want mm -hmm. and i think that's where we kind of run into this the customers have been wanting this yeah i've had people message me saying hey my dealer can't get that stuff where can i get it you can get it through your dealer well i think there's different dealers in the world i think you have tool dealers and then i think you have corporate tool dealers right so like if you're a tool dealer that worked in the industry like when something new comes out Kind of like you and me and everybody else, right? Like, hey, this is a cool product. It works. But if you have a customer that wants it, you got two options. Order it for him or let the sale walk. Right. So, and I think there's some dealers that's corporate. Like, if it's not stamped, snap on, Mac, Co, Mac, or whatever, like, it ain't going on my truck. Hey, that's fine with them. But I know if I'm in the option, you know, in the business to sell tools, I ain't making tools when they order it offline. Right. I'm making money off of them, I should say. Yeah. So. Either way, they've got the tools now, so go out to your dealers. I know we had a dealer that ordered a bunch um, at the sale, and they're gone. They lasted one day. Yeah. So, Well, it works. I mean, ain't yeah. no doubt. Well, and the thing about it's it good, is, I mean, Mac products. had it before we did, right? Yeah. Um, so it's not like it's – when I say it's not new technology, it kind of is, kind of ain't. Like this – when the Grip Edge come out with it, it was the first that I had saw it. Mm. It's kind of um, like buying a used car. It's new to you, right? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> so. We uh, we had a um, – well, we had your meetup that one year. Yeah. Uh, Mac was set up across from me, mm -hmm. and every freaking body was coming over talking about the RBRT, the RBRT. And, I mean, the dude started out with a table full of it, and by the end of the day, his table was empty, and it was yeah. like, I don't know what RBRT is, but I need to go home and find it because <laughs> – that crap sales, <laughs> yeah, um, and I didn't. I didn't find it at that time. Um, I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna make up an excuse for it. But either way, uh, when I heard, "Hey, this is RBRT technology," I was like, "Hey, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute." I remember that table, and that's yeah. a sucky feeling when uh, oh. you're watching the table get empty over there, and it's not your table, right? Mm -hmm. So um, that goes back to to selling. But either way. Um, Talk to your dealer, whether it be about the new Max 5 that's coming out or um, your Opti Torque uh, that's coming out. And there's some other stuff trickling in. Um, but the main thing is remember, we do have new scan tool coming out. It does have the J Box capability built in. Um, but I will preface that with also remember, as of right now, Yes, it works as a J-Box. You can use a laptop, download that software that you're going to get, um, and and use it. It's right. just not to the capability of using it through the scanner as of yet. So your 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 preface with either we um, come out with a scanner in December and let this technology get out into the world. Let's get it out there, or we can try to keep the secret. It get let out and then you know how long do you want to hold it to where you can get everything all sure, the time so sure. and and from what i heard um the inventory levels of the four 
really went quicker than what they thought. You know, it may not have been December, but I think they said the other day they had like four in the warehouse left. Wow. So it's it's, it's we had to either come out with it or order more fours. And right. why do you want to do that? Because then you get into that cycle where mm-hmm. well we can't release it now because we got, we got too much stock of this. Other. So yep. either way, hey. At the end of the year, why not? That's a Christmas present to you. Merry Christmas. That's it. Well, speaking of cool stuff, um, we got to do the giveaway on that pink tray. So I guess we'll cut to that and figure out who won that thing. All right, guys. So we're going to be using the random comment picker again to pick the winner of the pink tools for the calls trade. Now, before we start this, I want to make sure every single person understands, do not respond to any messages, no uh, telegram, telegraph, whatever. If it didn't come from this video, it is not real. Don't respond. Don't send any money. I will pay for the shipping. It won't cost you a dime. Once again, this giveaway is for U.S. residents only. So the way this works, we will put the link in the video. Uh, I paste the link in here. We hit the fetch button. I'm going to take away includes replies and that way it's only valid for the uh, current comments. It's going to load all the comments on there. Once that gets all the comments loaded, we'll be able to click the button and that will be the winner of the giveaway. So we just got to wait till all the comments get put in here and that's who's going to win it. Like I say, don't respond to anything. I will tell you what to do if you are the winner and we'll get your stuff to you. So we click pick a winner and it is Steven Skolowski, Steven Skolowski. So since you are the winner, what I need you to do is contact me at coon trucking 101 at gmail we will verify it is you we will make sure that you are a subscriber once we do that we'll get your stuff sent out to you and there you go all right guys so steven skolowski great you know uh, congratulations uh it's a great trade that you're going to be getting so let's wrap it up on the truck and we'll get this thing done well that's cool i mean i'm excited to see what the thoughts and looks are on the new scan tool and I, i'm ready to get my hands on it like uh the demos are available for purchase already too and uh does there a price point somewhere in there or they got that for you i haven't uh i haven't sat down and really looked at the prices um i was told you know what hold on uh, go to I just wonder e-guy if log. it'll be like a whole lot higher than the four. Well, I'm gonna pull up the ego log because uh, it's got to be higher with it adding the J box and the scope maybe not. And maybe not. All that fun stuff. Just pull up uh, diagnostics and so if it's on the e catalog, we will definitely show the price. If not, then I don't know the price. Uh, let's see. Alrighty, so here we go. We can uh, do a little better. Okay. If you'll come look at the screen and let our wonderful audience see it, we have the Max 4.0 uh, Maximum, uh, or Maximus, I should say, diagnostic car line. We come down here and we have the car line for it looks like $99 more. Wow. Um, so there's that. And then you have the Maximus 5.0 with the car line and heavy duty. Uh, it's 99.99 and that one's 91. So now you say, well, hold up now. That's 800 something dollars or somewhere close to there. My, I got Mississippi math, don't hold it against me. Um, that's This one does not have the HD right. uh, Max Fix. This one does have the HD Max Fix. There's your price difference there. So pretty much a hundred dollars for the car, yeah. and eight hundred dollars on. Yeah, but one other thing here, truck. here's that scanner I was telling you about for the HD. As you will see, that's a totally different scanner. That's not the yeah. Max Five. Yeah. As, but look here, 
That right there is fifty nine ninety nine. Wow. Let me scroll up and show you. There's the Max Four HD, eighty three ninety nine. Holy smokes. So there's your difference. So if you're looking at possibly going back, this is your scanner. Um, one of these scanners is yours. I, I'm almost positive you can add the HD to this one. But if you want them both at the same time, you get this one. So you can spend this or you can spend that if you know you're not going back. And there is some shops that know they're not That's going nuts back. That's for six grand. I think I paid 15 for that snap-on pro link yeah so that's why i, I brought it. that up and i don't know that they have released the hd only scanner but it's that's that's the catalog on their site so it's crazy <laughs> you know all i did and was more than you. likely it will be cheaper than that on the truck yeah I, I don't know i don't know what kind of sales there's going to be um there might be some trade-in values uh wow i I'm releasing the price. Somebody will get mad at me for showing the prices. That's on their that's that's on their site. So I don't yeah. know what to tell you. That's crazy, man. Because like, you know it's going to be cheaper on the truck. It's always cheaper on it the can truck. De it definitely has the possibility to be cheaper on the truck. So if you got a trade in, there might be some trade in values. That's pretty awesome. But there we go. You got a sneak peek at the price and everything. <laughs> so we 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 teased it uh, right before you left, and, yeah. and the way that it got left. You know, um, I was like, I can't make them. There's no way I can make them wait to December. And then I started seeing some distributors starting to post. post. See, we had this that week. Like, yeah. we could have showed it that week. But I didn't know that the distributors would start talking about it. So when they started sharing it, I was like, you know what? It's time. My time. That's it. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. That's awesome. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. If you're interested in a scan tool, now you know what to do pretty simple all right hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here be sure to click that subscribe we got some more giveaways coming you guys have a great weekend see ya